Ugh, ugh, ugh. My bones. Alright. Taking a second to just clean off my everything. Yeah, you like that wiping down controller ASMR? Also, I'm having a lot of people saying they missed uh, Metroid. So I might actually do Metroid again, except this time I'll play it longer and go for a higher percentage. Because last time I was trying... Hey, fast. I was trying to beat it in a certain time limit so that I could go watch Sledge's stream. But next time I play it, I'll um, not do that. Because I could have probably spent like twice as long playing it to get a higher percentage. Probably actually going to run into that problem with this game. Because like... This is one of those games where there's a lot to do in it, but, like, so much of it is locked behind RNG, and, like, really fucking bad RNG. Oh, no, I love this. I love this Castlevania, too. This was my first GBA game and my first Castlevania game, so out of all the, like, games I'm nostalgic for in this marathon, this is probably the one I'm the most nostalgic for. Hold up, I gotta get up and throw out this thing quick. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for this. This and Mega Man Zero Four are probably the two games I'm most excited for. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. This is just a really good Castlevania in general. Like Yo word up on that. Oh fuck, hold on, I forgot to switch a sound setting. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we'll just... First name doesn't do anything, so we'll just... But yeah, as you beat this game, you unlock, um... Turn it up a little bit, because this game's quieter than Metroid was. Yeah, no, this... Like I said, this is probably going to be my most nostalgic game in the marathon. Because I think the only, like, Castlevania I like more than this one is Dawn of Sorrow. Which, that is my favorite Castlevania. Alright, Dracula, you fucking nerd. Where's my money? And I, I talked about this a little bit during Metroid, but, like, I definitely like the visual style of... Dude, we just started. Oh, man. We ain't winning yet, but we're gonna be winning soon. But, uh... Anyway, like I was saying, 
Um, I talked about this a little bit during Metroid, but I definitely prefer the visual style of this one to the other two D or DS. GBA Castlevania games. They're like really bright and washed out looking to me, and I kind of hate the visuals in Harmony of Dissonance and uh, Aria of Sorrow. Though Aria of Sorrow is super fucking cool still, even with it having not as good of visuals as this one. Yeah, I, I still have this physically as well. I never owned the other two. I just played them through ROMs. But this one, this one I have. So, like, playing this game first, imagine my, like, surprise when I played this one, and then went back and played Symphony of the Night, and you can't even see the names or fucking... Alright, alright. You see, Sledge, last two... In my defense for last time, it was Friday, and I was trying to rush through it before you started, so I didn't want to, like... Ooh, we got a card already! So, but yeah, I'll start at you. Oh yeah, being only slow walking. So, for those who don't know, like haven't played this game before for some reason, how this game works is Nathan's... Nah, I just rushed through Metroid, which is probably why I'll play it again, so that I can play through it again slower and get a higher percentage, because like, I beat that shit in like three and a half hours with like 50%, so like that barely counts. But anyway, so how this game works is Nathan here is a huge fucking Yu-Gi-Oh nerd, so you collect fucking Magic the Gathering cards, and that's how you do all of your, like, special powers and shit, as well as having all the items and shit. So, it's pretty cool, but these cards have an absolutely fucking dreadful drop rate. Like, it's horrible. Like, certain monsters only drop certain cards, and not every monster can drop a card, and the ones that do drop a card drop it at such a abysmally low rate that if you want to get all cards, you're going to have to do a lot of grinding and finding all the secrets, because a lot of the, like, big cards are only dropped by monsters that are found in secret areas. Nice. I'm going to do that a lot. But yeah, Nathan here isn't nearly as, like, agile or quick as, like, fucking Alucard or Richter, but him having access to fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards kind of makes up for it. Thankfully, uh, there's a fucking, I don't know if you want to call it a bug or a cheat, but basically you can use all the cards before you even have them, as long as you have some combination. And, uh, I will be abusing that. Nice. Oh, duh, I forgot. You get the first two cards, like, right away. So... How this works is, like, I got Mercury and Salamander, so I can activate them. What was the activate button? Wow, I don't fucking remember what the activate button was. 
Whoa. There it is. And now I have a fire whip. So, but how the fucking cheat works is while you're doing the animation, if you open it and then move this shit around... Oh, I have this effect, which is raise my defense, even though I don't have the cards. So we're gonna, we're gonna abuse that. Oh yeah. Which I th think is... Oh, fuck. It's Black Dog, Unicorn, um... Salamander, the Ice One, the Tree... Golem and Griffin. I think it's this one. Oh. I forget what the combination is. But yeah, there's one of the combinations fucking gives you a uh, super fast movement go. One of my favorites is uh, you do Pluto and Black Dog. And you turn into a skeleton. See that big bone? Yeah, we're gonna use that against Dragon Zombie because it does quad nines. The catch is that if you get hit while in skeleton mode, you just die. It's it's one hit kills. Damn, we're doing pretty good on drops. Oh yeah, no, they definitely did, because it's just too fucking easy to do. It, it, it's like you literally just pause while the animation's going. Like, there's no way people didn't fucking figure that out on their own. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna sit here and dick with this for a second, till, so I can remember what cards are where. Okay, that's Cockatrice. Oh, duh. I'm trying to activate a combo I don't have. That's Golem. Okay. Where is Dryad? Is Dryad the next one? No, that's, um... Fuck, I forget which one that is. Yeah, no, this is a really fucking cool system. Oh, that's Griffin. Okay, we're gonna want to remember that one. Because Griffin is where you get all the fucking cool... has a lot of the cool shit. Pretty sure that's Griffin. No, I'm not trying to cheat right now. Oh yeah, that is speed. But right now I'm looking for um either the Rose Sword or the Rose Whip, and I can't remember which one of these is Dryad. I thought it was the third one, but... Oh, it is the third one. Fucking... I'm just stupid. I'd rather be hit by him than by the Earth. Also, like, speaking of this game and its graphics, this is, like, one of the few Castlevanias that doesn't recycle every single sprite in it. Alright, here we go. Now we got the fucking... Now we got the move. No more fucking strutting for us.
Oh yeah, we can, we can spin. Yeah, but in other games you can, like, dick around. Whereas this one, it's a little spin. Which, like, the spin in this one is really fucking good. I don't really want to fight you right now. Back. After I save, because I'm sure to suck dick and die to one of those earth demons. We'll get there. I'm fucking looking for the save point. Also, don't backseat too much, like. I know, uh, we're all excited for this game, I'm excited too, but let me just kind of fuck around in it. Yo, that's fair. Yeah, but you're not even my real dad. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Dude, Big Doom is, like, all the rage right now, so, like, because how small it makes you, so just fucking do that. Just baby mode Big Doom, and there you go. I already whipped that wall yet, and now I'm paranoid. There's gonna be a lot of that, me whipping walls for the sake of it. Also, like, you know how Twitch, like, fills in tags for you and shit when you put in the game? I just want to point out that Metroid having the, like, tag Metroidvania triggers me on so many levels that I don't even know where to begin. Don't ask why I'm doing this. It just makes me feel better. I like... So, I like knew about Castlevania on the NES. But that's about it. Like, I didn't know... I didn't know shit about Soap. Uh... Or like Dracula X or any of that. It was, or even like Super Castlevania 4. All I knew about Castlevania was there was an NES game for it, and it was really hard. I, like, hadn't played it or anything, either. I just remember seeing this game and thinking it looked really cool, and it was, like, getting good reviews, and... Old Nintendo power. 
10 to power. Also, I'd like the guide on all the DSS stuff and how to do the arena and shit. So I'm like, man, this game sounds really cool. I want to get it. So I asked for it for... Oh, fuck. Either Christmas or my birthday. One of the two. And I got it. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Yeah, I still have a lot of my old Nintendo powers and Game Informers and shit. Like, I still have the, uh... Specifically, I still have the Doom 4 issue of Game Informer, where they first, like, announced it and did a reveal of it and had a big article on the cover page and everything. I have a fucking issue 1 Nintendo Powers somewhere. Like the old Mario 2 clay art one. I'm like, there is a save point somewhere around here. get a ton of those, but that's a nice drop to get it right now. Man, I have my buttons set up to be comfortable for playing, and they are uncomfortable for menuing, so that's why my menus are looking like I fucking don't know what I'm doing. That and I'm stupid, so... You know how it be. I will also definitely get lost in this game at least twice, because the last time I played- even the last time I played this, which was a few years ago, I fucking completely forgot how to get to the underground storage, end up doing the blighted waterway without the fucking ring that purifies the water. Which, uh, that's an experience. Don't do that ever. Go- go get the fucking ring. Go beat up death, that fucking nerd. Everyone in Dracula's castle's a nerd. Don't don't let anyone fool you. Damn it. 
He ain't dead yet. Oh, fuck. You know, fuck. Good boy gonna fucking kill me. Uh, this is probably bad. This is bad. That was almost bad. Sorry, I'm sure you all didn't want to hear me eating. Yes, spy. I'm, uh, not nearly hip enough to catch what you're trying to say there. Fast, not everything is a slick hentai, come on. Actually, we're over here poking at me. No, jump. Got my time is off. Or uh, wait, hold on, I forgot. I'm, I'm a weak gamer. Oh, the input delays. Ugh. Yeah, we'll take the whole water. What we really want is a cross, but... It's too bad fucking crack rocks aren't in this one from Soten. Just so I can say I'm throwing around crack. Like, game can try to tell me it's holy ash or whatever, but you're throwing out crack rocks. Don't, don't fucking try to pull fast one. Shit, you right. Yeah, you do. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I play Bloodlines and I'm on the water level, it has this song and I'm there getting fucking turnt, mostly because of this game.
as you can see by my old man turning around to angle my jumps, I am filled with skill and finesse. Man, like, I'm posting the box art for these games on the side of the screen and whatever, and it just makes me really wish I still had the boxes for, like, all my GBA games. Because I have fucking none of them. Because as a child, I was a mongoloid and threw that shit out. Like, I wish I had the boxes for my Super Nintendo games too, but a lot of those I didn't even get them in boxes. I got them used so they came in those like plastic containers. At the old video games, etc. Which is somehow still around. I'm getting turned. Yeah, we'll take that just because it's useful in the next boss. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't want to go back there yet. I don't think we go there yet. Oh, I'm not going to go there yet, at least. I'm gonna warn y'all, I'm gonna be taking my time with this game, so there's gonna be a lot of me just kind of wandering around looking for shit later. So, strap in. This ain't no speedrun, no speedrun strats to be found here. Outside of the sliding earlier, but that's because fucking look at Nathan's walk. Like, yeah, he's strutting with purpose, but like, come on, dude, we gotta go. We got places to be, nerds to kill. By Alucard. Not even, not, don't even have to think about it.
with Richter in third. And like, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I said Soma Cruz, followed by Alucard, and then Richter. I'll give you that, but like... So this is a cheeky little part. You don't have to do this like this, you can get wait until later. But I'm a gamer. Oh no, my gamer skills! Oh. Oh! Get back out there! Yeah, this is basically like Metroid, isn't it? I didn't even think of that. No! No! Okay. Alright, I want to be careful navigating up here, because if I fall, then I just wasted all that time. No! Oh, okay. There's solid ground. You can get up here and get this. You could also wait till later when you get the, uh, Pegasus Wing. I think it's called in this one, the super jump item. <laughs> get that, but I'm a gamer. Also, that doing that's not that bad. It's kind of a pain in the ass when they start shooting at you, but... And if I would have fallen, I would have been... I would have said fuck this and not tried it till later. Ah oh man, this this reminds me the uh again, this reminds me the Bloodstained update came out and it has fucking Zengetsu mode and randomizer mode now. So you can spend the entire game trying to find Metal Gear. Cause listen, David Hader's great, but you can't put him in a game and expect me not to just go fucking Metal Gear the entire fucking time. Like, it's just not possible. Bloodstained is very good. Like... Like, holy shit, it's so good. It's like the fucking... Dawn of Sorrow, Aria of Sorrow, third game that we never got. With a dash of fucking Symphony of the Night. Because it has, like, the command input special moves and shit. I really like it a lot. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's so fucking good. Oh yeah, no, that... 
it definitely gets way too easy with certain certain shards are just way too fucking good. Like Tessera's Iron. I think that was it. The lightning bolt and the like holy beam are fucking overpowered as hell. Like, holy shit. Hard ass agree. Like, yeah, no, just all of them are better in the uh, the NES one, NES style one. Which that game is also super fucking good. But that's just kind of, but. That's just kind of what you have when you're you're uh, the baby, 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 doing like a Egovania RPG thing compared to a more structured um, Castlevania three thing. Is you'll just you'll have that. I can't imagine that like traditional Metroidvanias, which that's a Metroidvania, but like. Traditional Metroidvanias with like leveling up and shit. I can't imagine those are very easy to balance. But yeah, no, both both Bloodstained games are incredible. If you're a Castlevania fan and you haven't played them, you should probably go play both right now. The the NES, I keep calling it the NES one, even though technically it's not. The NES one, if you like classic Castlevania, and then uh, Ritual of the Night, if you like the Egovanias. Though I say that about the balance of an Egovania, but like... If I remember right, Dawn of Sorrow is pretty good at maintaining a decent difficulty throughout, but some of the later bosses are also fucking really gnarly. Like, I'm specifically remembering Abaddon being an absolute bitch if you get hit, like, even once. I could... It's also been a very, very long time since I've played that. Like, probably not since I've been a child, so... My uh, gamer skills were not as keen. Fuck is a clinking man anyway. Also, it might just be incredibly biased towards Dawn of Sorrow because you know that's that's like my favorite, one of my favorite games. I mean, you know, when can you get, like, somebody from the Midwest, somebody from the East Coast, somebody from the West Coast, and somebody from Canada all together? not having our pants on is meaningless if we can't see each other without pants on, you know? Fucking... Yes, but also no. Speaking of, have we all... Has everyone here watched Season 3 of Castlevania yet. Because I want to talk about it, but be really vague for so I don't spoil anyone who watches the VOD of this later, but... 
Like, no details, but... I don't know about the scene everybody hates. Cause like... I just know I can't believe fucking... Alucard and Trevor got played in the exact same way. Like, Jesus. Way to get fucking told both ways. It's like... But yeah, no, like, Season 3 is, like, fine. I don't think it was as good as the previous two seasons, but it's, it's fine. It's not like it's bad or anything. Listen, I'm just too much of a coward to play games with you in general, because there's not a single game on this earth I'm as good at you at, and I don't wanna I don't wanna hold you back. Otherwise I probably would have joined in on an EDF night by now. Plus, like, every time I get to feeling like playing a co-op game, I'm like, eh. What? I it, it I know, but I don't like being carried. I just had to fucking... Plus, like... If I'm, like, feeling like working on mods, then that's it. That's all I'll do. Poor Fass has been trying to organize... some kind of fucking multiplayer event since the beginning of time, and we've successfully done it once when we had a Quake 3 night. You know what? We should we should just organize an EDF 4.1 night because like that's the one I have. Like actually organize it, not just say we're going to and then we just don't. Like probably a Saturday because that's seems to be the one night everyone is good. Oh yeah, this game does this where the secrets are halfway up the fucking wall for some reason. Alright. See, that works, because then I'll have to get good and I won't feel as bad. Yeah, no, that, that's definitely... That definitely eases a lot of my concerns and general cowardice. Let it be known, I'm still a bitch, but that definitely does ease my bitchness. Yo, shouldn't I have been found the necromancer? Oh, wait, hold on, it's that one door I didn't go into. I'm stupid. <laughs> Alright, but, you know, the second I find the T-Pose button, that's it. That's all I'm doing in a game. Nice. 
Jeez, we're doing really good on cards. Oh, it's Mandragora, not Dryad. Why was I thinking it was Dryad? See, I agree with that, because I'm a casual and everything. Like, if I... I feel like if I have to, like, work super hard to get good at something, it's not worth it, because then it's... It's not playing a game, it's yeah, doing a chore. But, at the same time, I don't want to be fucking bad. Like... I like getting so good, but not, like, super, super good. Awesome on the drops. Yeah, no thanks. Hard pass from me. There's also an issue of, like, I run into a problem with playing co-op with people is a lot of, like, co-op games I just, I'm not a fan of. Like, perfect example is Left 4 Dead. Yeah, no, like, fuck that. Yeah, no, fuck that. That's, that's way too much. Like, I can understand wanting to have, like, a certain meta and balance to your game, but, like, I have a little bit of flexibility, like... There's always gonna be a uh, strategy or something that's always better, and, like... People will tend to use that above all else, but that doesn't mean that everything else can be trash. Like, everything else should still be viable to a certain extent. Like, obviously, fucking, I'm not saying everything should be fucking easy-peasy. Like, you sh there should still be some trash comps, like four white mages in FF1, but I don't think fucking something should be fucking garbage and everything should be designed around a very, very specific setup. Unless it's, like, a super, like, long-term game and you're talking at the highest difficulty and, like, endgame stuff. That shit I'm okay with. Like, I'm gonna show off my, uh, autism for a little bit here and, like, but, like, for example, like, I started playing RuneScape again, and the... they added raids. And, like, yeah, the endgame high-tier raid stuff, that shit, you need to be... A, you need to have a specific level, you need to have a specific setup, you need to have specific skills in order to do them. But, like, that is, like, the absolute endgame. I'm fine with that. But, like, something like Payday, where you need to be 100% optimal 100% of the time or you're fucked? No thanks. I'll pass. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, I was saying something now. Oh, fucking me and co-op games. So another reason I don't play a lot of co- Oh, good, the cross. Another reason I don't play a lot of co-op games is because, like, a lot of, like, games designed for co-op, like Vermintide, Left 4 Dead, etc., etc., I just don't like them. Like, I don't like the gameplay loop. Like, like, fucking, like, Deep Rock Galactic looks really good. It, however, looks like it's a little too Left 4 dead for my taste, but I might still end up giving it a shot at some point, just in case, you know? But, like, Vermintide, I I played that for, like, a solid 10 hours. I didn't like it. I put untold hours into Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. I, I just... It's just not my style. I, I prefer shit like, say, Halo, where you have, like, the campaign and you can do a co-op, or even, like, Borderlands, where you have, like, the game, but it's also co-op. Fucking, where the hell am I going? Man, I want to get into Mon Hun, because I've played... Helldivers is that, like, ODST one. Right? It's like, it almost looks like it's a twin stick. If that's, if it's what I'm thinking of. 
Okay. Yeah, that game, like, I think I was watching... It is Twin Stick? Okay. I think I was watching you and Eric play it once. It might have been, like, Knox or something. I was watching somebody on the HDES server playing it once and was thinking, man, this actually looks really cool. I might pick this up sometime. But then never did because I'm, like, I'm like that. Yeah, this was, the god, this had to have been, like, a year, year and a half ago. Yeah, I'll definitely have to pick it up. Because, like, I like Twin Sticks. It's just, like, so many of them are fucking trash or just the same thing over and over again. Like, um, not gonna lie. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's incredible. But, like, I'm not gonna lie. In, um, oh god. Was it Call of Duty Black Ops or Black Ops 2 where you could, like, in the menu, start walking around and there was a secret, like, twin stick zombie game? That shit was awesome. Like, I loved that. I think that was Black Ops 2. I am going in fucking circles. Um. I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm like more conversing than paying attention to where I'm going right now, anyway. Which is fine. That's the beauty of streams. Because I can, uh. I forget that Bullet Storm has co op all the time. Because, like. God, I played through that on Xbox, like, when it came out, and then, like, haven't played it since, but fucking, I remember, like, so much about it, because how fucking cool that game is. Fucking kill my dick, what does that even mean? Even though, like, Steve Bloom is the main character, is the problem of every time Steve Bloom is anybody, I'm just like, is Spike is in this game? What? Hello? Because Steve Bloom, Steve Blum, whatever. You know who I'm talking about. That's all that's important. There's just certain voice actors where when you hear them, you only hear one thing. Monica Rail is another one. Real Rail? Where if she's in anything, I can only hear fucking stalking. Um... I would say the same for Chris Sabat, but like... Considering he is the entirety of Dragon Ball Z, just pick a Dragon Ball Z character and that's who I hear. Usually Piccolo. <laughs> fucking everyone always remembers Sean Shemmel for fucking Dragon Ball Z, but can we talk about how fucking Chris Sabat is literally everybody else in that show? Like, all of them? And he's, like, fucking producer and shit, too. Leave me alone, I'm very fond of the DBZ dub. It's very distinct. And also, fucking everybody in the sub sounds, like, exactly the same, because everybody just has a high-pitched voice for some reason. Like, I, I don't know what's up with that, but... Everyone... everyone's high-pitched. Who did that? Why? Whose fault is that? 
I'm just gonna blame Toriyama, because he just likes ruining all of his good things. God damn it, Toriyama. I can't blame him for Super, though. I mean, I can, but... Uh, I'm not going to. Fucking top ten things that should have never existed. Now you got me rambling about Dragon Ball, thanks. God damn. I got myself rambling. Who am I kidding? Finally, this looks this looks right. Oh god, we were in here and just I did, just didn't go high enough. I am a fool. Absolute goof. Complete doofus. Damn. Oh shit! God damn it! Thought I didn't land on it. All right. It doesn't come back while it's on the screen. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're gonna fuck this nerd up. Who is definitely not death. Like, seriously, he's not death, but, like, he is? No oh, fuck. This dude is not death. He just does all this death stuff. Stop doing this fucking thing. Not sure what that air turnaround was, but eh. Now we find out Nathan is I almost call him Nathan Drake. It's Nathan Graves. Uh <laughs> We found out Nathan was on his fucking high school football team.
All right. Yes, I'm cheating. No, I will not stop. No, that's not it. Oh, that's fucking, uh, Manticore. Then Griffin is... It's Manticore, uh, Cocktrice... I think this one's Griffin. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it doesn't actually affect jump height. That's lame. The super fast mode, go! Got them after images with masks. I'm always cheating. Uh, you went to the gas station for smokes and never came back? Until I was nearly 30? Is that something about that bitch ain't getting a dime out of you? been like 20 years. Also, notice how the fucking potions are piddly as fuck in this game. And are also super rare drops. Damn! We're getting fucking... I keep saying super rare drops, but like, we're just getting all the good shit. Here's another banger. <laughs> Try not to bust out into the Dwayne and Brando song of fuck. Okay, so because of the Medusa heads, we're gonna do something else to cheat. I think it's this. Don't want that. Ooh, the 
leg. I forget if the uh, shields can open secrets for you. I think they can? Yeah, they can. Cool. This game unfortunately doesn't have damage stacking, so like if something's getting hit by your shield, you can't hit it. Which kind of sucks, but... No Soten. They learned from Soten. Where you can just kind of fucking instantly kill things as Richter by Hydro Storming into Holy Water. Man, I always wonder what fucking Soten would be like if it was, like, properly balanced. Because, like... I, granted, I feel like it's, like, unbalanced, broken nature as part of its charm. But I still wonder what it would be like if they had, like, an extra three months, four months to balance it. It would probably still be, like, crazy, but... Still, just for curiosity's sake. I don't mean no fucking ROM fan ROM hacks, because all those do is remove the shield rod, and it's like, no. Don't do that. I mean, like, balance it without compromising the, uh, game integrity. Because, like, I feel like wantonly fucking removing or adding things really compromises the game's integrity for that kind of thing. Like, if that's what you're looking for, then that's what you're looking for. Like, obviously, I make mods for Doom, so, like, I don't give that much of a shit about game integrity, but... In certain cases, such as with, like, a difficulty patch for Soten, for example, I do care. Also, give us fucking Maria mode. Like, I hate that there's only one, like, one release of Soten that has Maria mode in it. Oh yeah, those, uh, those look like a fucking mess. Like, I've never experienced them firsthand, but they, they look like, they look like they're a mess. Like, all of the 3D Castlevania games are janky to some extent. That's, I still absolutely love Curse of Darkness, so, but, like, yeah, no, the, the castle, the 3D Castlevania games are janky, but those don't look janky. They just look terrible. Like I said, though, I've never experienced them firsthand. I have never like looked up a playthrough or anything like that. I've just seen things here and there. Fuck me, dude. Um. Oh god, excuse me. Man, 
Man, if I could figure out a way to, like, capture my Xbox, I'd probably play fucking Curse of Darkness on stream sometime. I love that fucking game. It's probably not even good. I just really like it. It has a lot of really cool, like, concepts in it. Oh my god, will this fucking Thunder Demon leave me the fuck alone? Hey! Damn, I wish I had this kind of luck when I was younger and finding the fucking cards. One time I beat the game and all I got were the starting fucking uh, Mercury and Salamander. Granted, I knew about the fucking CSX exploit, so. Eh. It's not that big of a deal. It's still, it's cool to see them drop. makes it feel more legit. And also, I don't have to sit here and fumble about where certain things are on the, uh, board. So, after playing this one, and then, like, going to Soten many years later, I was surprised when in Soten there's two different types of Medusa heads and only one petrifies you. Because, you know, I'm used to this one where they all fuck you over. Actually, Soten is one of those games where I really wish I could have played it at the time. Because, like, I'm not nearly as fond of it as a lot of people are, because I played it after playing most of the other, like, Egovanias, and it's, obviously, they're a lot more, like, balanced and refined than Soten is, and it shows. So I was kind of spoiled by that. So, like, I'm not, I don't nearly have the attachment to it. I still like it, but, like, if you gave me a choice between playing, like, Soten or any other Egovania, I'd probably pick any of them. Except for maybe Portrait, because, you know, Portrait's good, but, uh, you know. You know! Now I'm getting all these drops because I've my luck boosted so high. Still. Still nice. Which I'm sure I'm gonna say that, and then when I post this on YouTube, I'm gonna get tons of comments of you don't like Sultan as much as the old and I'm gonna be like I didn't grow up with it. I didn't play it until I was like twenty. Which, like, granted, that was still quite a while ago, because I'm, I'm fucking getting old, but... I just don't have that, like, context and, uh, nostalgia for it. I definitely would've liked it as a kid, don't get me wrong. If I would've played it, I would've loved it. 
There's no doubt in my mind. Just because I like that style of game so much. Besides, if I could put up with some of the garbage I put up as a kid, I could play something actually good, like so. Stop healing, you bitch! Oh, okay. Wait, hold on, I, I still have my luck shit on. I'm stupid. Why do I have cotton clothes on? I thought I put on fucking prison garb. <laughs> Yo, we gotta show off the fucking definitely not mode 7. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that shit always looks super goofy. Like, something about Nintendo handhelds, they gotta do goofy shit like that, like... GBA, they have to do the fake mode 7. DS games do that, like, composite sprite thing. Like, perfect example is, um, Dracula in Order of Ecclesia is, like, a weird, like, composite sprite thing. And tons of games have to fucking do that, and it looks so weird. Listen, shut up. Okay, but have you ever played NES Batman? That game's incredible. It is also fucking harder than evading the IRS, so... Man, I kind of want to do a uh, NES marathon, but fuck, dude. You know how many NES games I can actually beat? Like, none. Like, fuck, dude. I... I'm not that level of gamer anymore. No. No, we're not. I'm, I, I'm basically saying no NES Marathon because I'm fucking bad. Like, not even like... Oh, okay, whatever. He's, like, not super optimal, but he's still beating the game. No, I mean, like, I can't get past fucking... 
Preacher and Flea Man in Castlevania 1. Fucking bad. I can't beat Zelda 2 without doing an exploit to get 99 lives. Bad. And even then, it's still up in the air as to whether or not I'm gonna beat it. I can't beat Zelda 1. Period. And that's to say nothing of fucking Mega Man games. Uh, never, because I only had two games on my N64 growing up. One was Orcarina of Time, and one was Majora's Mask. And that's it. That's all I had on my N64. I had, okay, I guess I had a Midway Arcade Games collection, and Smash Bros. No, I have not played Blast Core. I've never even heard of it. Man, that sounds ultra fucking appealing if you didn't live in fucking Canada. Because I'd like go a state over for that shit, but not a country over. A country and several regions within that country over. Cause like I have traveled much I've traveled state lines for less. For people I like less. <laughs> I mean Iowa <laughs> like dead ass center of the fucking US. Okay, maybe not center, but like, pretty close. I can't take a rowboat up the Mississippi to get to you. I'll hit Lake Michigan, and then that'll be it. Wait. Those connect, right? I don't actually know. I don't actually care. Yikes! <laughs> uh, yikes. My car can barely make fucking, like, two-hour drives, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, granted, my car is basically fucking, like, new now, after the last incident. Like, tune up, all the parts in the motor are new, fucking new suspension. The only thing that's fucking old on it right now is the transmission. And you can tell. And of course, my ultra distinctive hood. Damn, dude, only 464 hours? That's like a whole month! That's an epic fucking journey. Sad, cause like I need to go back in there later. Ugh, once I get the uh, Pegasus swing or whatever the fuck, the super jump.
here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Who are you commissioning that from? Because that's looking pretty good. I'm uh, I'm gonna do that thing where I show my fucking screen. And everyone's gonna judge me for my tabs again, just to like show it off. Cause yeah, no, it's looking super good. Looking super fucking good. All right, where's where'd Streamlabs go? Okay. Sledge, how do you know so many talented people? And then you know me. Like, how does that even come together? Sorry, I'm scratching my knee. <clears throat> Certain lump is harassing me. Probably a good thing, because like I go back to work tomorrow, which is the big womp womp. Hold on, taking a quick eat break.
I don't know. I might be being weird. Plus, Ashley was just kneeling over me. So you probably heard her fucking breathing on me. Getting up in my space. If you think I'm getting rid of this cross at any point in the game, you'd be dead ass wrong. I don't know why I picked those up. Like, this game doesn't have a shop. So. Yeah, right. At my extremely stressful and physically and mentally demanding job. Actually, it's not even that, like, mentally demanding. It's just I get so fucking stressed out when I'm there. Because I'm not at home. Because I'm super antisocial. Look, I have fucking... I already... I'm already doing that. Like, let's be real, I don't... I spend, like, all of my waking time in front of the computer or the TV. So I'm already... already heading there. Yet I don't gain weight. I'm still stuck at, like, 120 pounds. Like, fucking, what's up with that? I eat, though. I eat a lot. I just don't gain weight. Fuck. 
fucking bony boys rise up. Listen, I'm not gonna start fucking gorging myself just to gain weight. I'm on the low end of, uh, the healthy range for my height, so, like, I'm, I'm fine with where I'm at, mostly. I might worry about it more if, like, I started, like, working out, but I ain't doing that. Plus, like, I get, I get a decent amount of fucking physical activity at my job, so when I'm at home, I want to move as little as possible. Fuck. I know there's a save point here, but I think it's, like, just up above. Someone keeps trying to talk at me when the headphones are on. Luckily for her, this game's quiet enough that I can half hear her. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Man, I can't believe Nathan can't push a box until he gets a ring that lets him. Like, come on, dude. Just fucking push it. <laughs> does is fucking sit there like me anyway, unless she's bothering me. What? That's what it is. That's what you do. But <laughs> the OnlyFans, the money! Look, I know what you're... Look, I get it. You, I know simps are a very lucrative market, but... These fucking bloody swords, holy shit. I don't have enough fucking hearts to throw across. Fuck. I mean, yeah, this is this is a stupid zone. <laughs> uh 
Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Why not both? Oh shit. Oh. I'm scared and it's making me tilted. Starting to sound like Blaz constantly asking for his music bot. Like, what, the, what the fuck would we even use with a music bot? We use the voice chat. Like, I used voice chat once, and some fucking 12 year old who I'd never seen before wandered in and started going on about brutal. So I'm like, man, I'm never doing this again. Oh shit. I fucking looked at chat and ran right into a marionette. I'm gonna die. <laughs> My god, I cannot fucking believe that. Yo, you right, because that, that was legitimately fucking a really good time. <laughs> Just talking shit and you with your fucking soundboard. Kicked by the Square Panther. It's just a really douchey setup. I swore there's a fucking super wall here. Guess not. Had nice damage. <laughs> oh, perhaps, yeah. Ugh.
Because I have a really hard time getting into new things nowadays. I largely blame modding, because anytime I'm doing anything, I'm like, oh, I could be, could be working on mods right now. If I feel like it. Oh, fuck, sold. Another card. A very useful one to just have, too. Now I just need the, uh, ice card, and I'll be pretty much set for the rest of the game. going until like eight or nine, so like two or three more hours. And then like on nights I work, I'll start at around six my time, which I think is around seven your time. Go until like fucking I'm really tired. Two or three hours at least. Assuming Ashley doesn't work. Which she works tomorrow, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah, five year time might be. Yeah, yeah, so, like. So yeah, you're like an hour behind me. Oh my god, these fucking swords. Not having enough strength to one-shot them is giving me the fucking AIDS. See that fucking sick dodge? Oh, 
fuck me. Scene, so takes off my magic the gathering cards. You more like you a bitch. Ha, got him.
Sorry, I was looking at my phone. The uh, existential dread of having to go to work tomorrow, starting to seep at me. Really, you sure to sap my energy. Oh, excuse me. But it's fine, we're playing a good game, we're hanging out. It's all good. For now, at least. But I can only delay my responsibility for so long. Just weak enough where I can't one shot these things. Ooh, another card. Neat. Actually, oh, excuse me. I could probably one shot them with leaves. Still no go on the fucking swords, huh? Alright. Also, like, you see how that, those lightning armors, their lightning ball tracks? Expect to see something like that in a hot arch file when I get around to making that. I just blew up the, uh, our base. Ugh. Actually, we're gonna stop by the safe point and heal. God damn it. Damn it. 
Actually, I'm gonna take a quick intermission here. Just to get some to drink. Run to the gas station quick. I'll be back in like 20 minutes tops.
Oh god, I'm back. I was gone longer than I was expecting to be. The big ol' huge mud bee. Alright. Where were we? Um, making our way, uh, presumably downtown. Allegedly walking fast. Alright. Right, we just blew up all the Iron Maidens, so we gotta go, uh, find them and go to the areas they unlock. Pretty good drop to get. remembering push boxes. I know we've seen at least one towards the beginning. Nice. one right here. when I go from intermission, it erases all of the chat. I just didn't want to have it sit here idle on the screen. Good thing this game lets you be fucking bad, cause like, damn dude, I'm just hitting everything. Sick. 
So that's this is the main thing. Shit down here is that like everything fucking poisons. Or at least these king moths are like everywhere. There's also like poison armors and shit, just it, there's so much poison. some minor growing pains from just playing Metroid, because, uh, old Seamus is a little more mobile than Nathan is. a bit of damage and surprise poison you so and they're fast oh boy poison armor ow Everything that poisons you also drops antidotes, so... And poison isn't, like, game-endingly horrible in this. It's just, it... everything does it, so it can be a lot of damage stacked up on you, if you're not careful. Thankfully, we have the old ice barrier. So, and that stops most things that poison us in its tracks.
We got lucky there. Oh god. Put myself in dangerous situations. Between two armors is never where you want to be. Damn it. Damn it. down here is that these mycenoids are here. Ow. Person. Oh no, here we go. Fuck face. God, I could really go for like a kick. It's the one thing that kind of sucks about this game, is you don't have the sick like kick that you have in a lot of the other games. in this game suck dick. Alright, we're coming up on Dragon Zombie. Whomst we can, uh, cheese with Skeleton. discovering this fucking trick as a kid, and, uh, 
Yeah, no. Changed my life. Because this battle's a bitch. Okay, he's cannibalizing. Ooh. That wasn't too bad. That was some pretty good bone luck. You have to do the one on the left first. Because the one on the left can shoot long range fireballs, so he can hit you when you're trying to kill the one on the right. And obviously, when you're a skeleton, one hit and you're fucking dead. So there is some, like, trick to that, but it's not complicated. You turn into a skeleton, stand on the ledge, throw bones until you win. Which reminder, those big bones do quad nine. Which most enemy, I think the only enemy in the game that can actually withstand that is like Dracula. It does do dark damage, which a lot of enemies resist, but like... Man, half a quad nine is still like 5k, which is still more hit points than most things in this game have. Ah, fuck, I didn't head down. So, you know. More cheating. Ah! Fuck. Oh my fucking god, he's got that. The god! This fucking poison armor shall go down in history as a hero for holding the line against fucking god gamer me. Oh yeah, this is the back entrance. Alright, so now we got pushing. So, we... God, there's a lot of... this. the pushing opens up a lot of places. Too many, actually. to start pushing. I'm just gonna go left. Oh, yeah, okay, this is when certain areas of the castle repopulate with stronger monsters. Certain areas repopulate. Strong monsters. Fucking English is hard. Here it is, the underground warehouse that I could not fucking find the last time I played this. See how easy it was to find? Like... I don't know what the fuck my problem is. Okay, dude, can you die, please? Thank you. A little too fast.
Should be coming up pretty quick. Nice. You are not what I fucking want to see. Fucking Thunder Armor from downtown. Oh, Jesus! Ah, please be a safe point. Thank you. God damn. Might be a little under level at this point. Oh. Fuck pill time. God damn, those do so much damage. This lag. Yikes. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I just realized I've had something not up that I've meant to have up.
content. Quality gameplay. This is this is the exciting stuff you all come here to see, I know. I don't know what it is about that block pushing sound, but it's like really good for what it is. Ow. Yeah, we're definitely a little under level if these things are doing that much damage. Like, holy armors hurt no matter what, but they should not be. What's that? Yeah, that was like fucking half my health. Hi. I forgot you were there. before I uh, mess with these blocks. Intentionally got that one right. Damn. But I need this room, because I'm pretty sure this is a save room. Nope, <laughs> this is not a save room at all. Uh, please leave me alone. Oh, lord. Well. Well, gang, it was a good run, but I think I'm gonna die here. Escaped. Whoa, okay. Sorry, game. Um, fuck, what was the combination for regeneration? That. Also, I'm pretty sure that. Oh, okay. Still pretty sure that effect is like super bugged. 
guess we'll just do Holy Whip. For the very mild heals while I whip. Biggest streamer on Twitch is anyone's guess. I'll go back for it later. 
I usually, in every Castlevania, do a total, like, re-explore once we get the, uh, super jump. back out to like the beginning area so I don't want to go do that save again before I go and fight death. Ow. If I make it back. Play like shit. Slow 
fucking amazing way. Alright, activate my fucking holy whip again. Even though I'm pretty sure my shit gets turned off because we got to talk to this nerd. Okay, better idea. Fucking ice shield. Oh god, I did the wrong combo. What even is this thing? Like, it's death, but it's like... Clutch death. See a nerd. No, fuck wrong button. Fucking ghetto healing. Alright, so we got the cleansing, which... You know, clears the, uh, waterway so we can actually go through it. Because the waterway is poisoned until you get this. We're just gonna rush the save point. Almost got the Pegasus wing. Fuck. We almost got the super jump. there's one of you in here. God, look at her! Wow. 
really? Holy fuck. Those things suck. Now the castle is like flooding with succubi. Eternally suffering, you know. You know how it be. healing. Need to be 
super careful not to get hit by a stray beam. Or their swords when they raise them. need you to fuck off. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. A little tired. But good. Really? You've never... This one's like this one's one of my faves. It's it's really good. Like I was saying at the uh, excuse me. Like I was saying at the beginning, this was my first uh, GBA game and my first Castlevania. So like, I have a lot of nostalgia for this one. That's why it's in the nostalgia thumb. But out of all of the games like in this marathon, this is probably the one I'm the most nostalgic. For. Sonic games on the GBA, and they are surprisingly good. Like, they're better than what fucking Sonic was going through at the time. Not that that's hard, mind you, because that's when Sonic games started being absolutely dreadful, but yeah, no, the, the, the GBA Sonic games are actually good.
For some reason, I was thinking the Dark Whip did something else. I forgot it uh, engulfs them. It does a big chunk of damage, and then it engulfs them for even more damage. I was thinking for some reason it, uh, hello? A button. It, uh, took your hit points, but did huge damage. But that's probably something else. There is definitely a move in this game that takes your hit points when you swing, but it does a lot of damage, and it's related to Black Dog. Because they're like God of War likes. But uh man, I I have no idea what's going on in those games. They're they're like they're like not too bad, but they're just they're pretty weird. And they're a definite departure. I can't say I know too much about them, though. Which is weird, because I have, um... I have Lords of Shadow on my, uh... I have it on Steam. Because I picked it up when it was on sale for, like, ten bucks. I just haven't played it yet. Oh, okay, I know. Like fucking a good 60% of my Steam library. That seems like it'd be a fun little thing to do. Just take all the games in my Steam library that I have, like, less than 10 hours in or something and just play them, see what they are. like some super lag there for a second. Gonna gonna watch it here for a sec, see if it pops up again. Okay, I think we're good. Then again, uh, I know my roommates have been having some issues with the internet over the last few days. So... Hopefully we're good, but if it, uh, super lags again, I'll probably stop, because we've been going for nearly four hours. Eh. Okay, uh, 
where was that shortcut to get out of here? I know you're all thinking, Mason, what the fuck are you doing? You're just going back and forth. Well, that's because I was going back to get out, but then I remember there's a shortcut to get out, so I'm going back to take the shortcut, even though it probably would have been faster to uh, just keep going back out that way. In other words, I'm not very smart. Right. This is kind of the shitty part about the Dark Whip, is that uh, there's no damage stacking in this game, so... Pretty much once you hit something with it, that's, that's all it can get hit by. Set these. Leave me alone. Ow. Can I pay you 50 bucks to fuck off? I <laughs> just fucking loud can't keep up with it. Okay, dude. Still got it. Me alone. God Gamer Forest Armor. after this guy. If I remember right, these golems are worth a lot of XP. They just take six years to kill, as you can tell. They have super high defense and super high uh, hit points. They're just really slow, and you know, what? Once they start going in a direction, that's it. They're they're going. That's the rest of their lives. It's just going in that direction. Oh. 
these things have a fucking safe spot. It's like right here. God, my headphones are not sitting comfortably on my head today. See what this is about. Just some memeing. Oh, I'll get up, take a piss quick. BRB. Actually, I haven't played Order of Ecclesia. I've seen it played. It looks really fucking good, and I want to play it. Uh, what? What the? Why can't I hear? Why can't I hear the game? Okay, there we go. Apparently, when I set my headphones down, I just like turned them all the way down too. Oh, flea man. But I might look into, like, getting 
a ROM or something of Order of Ecclesia to play it. It's just a lot harder to get ROMs than it used to be. Also, DS emulation is a little iffy at best. At least it used to be. Like, this was a long, long time ago, though, since the last time I tried. And even then, before I was able to get a good enough DS emulator to play some Pokemon wrong ROM hacks. God damn it. God damn it. Wait, where am I going? Oh, I know where I'm going. Wow, did I get hit by that worm? Sure fucking did. Jesus Christ. Oh, I was gonna check this hallway way at the beginning of the game and just forgot. Whoops. I wouldn't have gotten very far, because you need wall jump. to that part of the game where I just wander around kind of aimlessly, checking my map constantly. Searching for stuff I missed. Which, seeing as how I'm... Okay, I already got this one. Seeing as how I'm, all, I'm pretty horribly underleveled, this is a good thing. Because it's like, the next boss is, um, Carmilla. I mean, should be around 35 by the time you reach her, and... Yeah, we're only just now hitting 31. This is what we should have been at when we fought death.
all this stuff is going to be super helpful, because, like... Carmilla and Dracula are the two hardest bosses in the game, which those are the last two bosses we have to fight. Oh no, I forgot about Hugh. Hugh's really easy. But, um, Carmilla and Dracula are the two hardest bosses in the game. So, like, Dracula in this game is actually pretty fucking gnarly. So, I want to be pretty powered up by the time we reach him. Still, we're already to Carmilla. This game's a lot shorter than I remember it being. I also have been doing a piss poor job of keeping on track of my exploration. Um. Yeah, we gotta go up this way. Which, that's where a lot of your time in a Castlevania game comes from, let's be real, is exploring around. Ah! We're gonna switch to a better barrier. Closing in on where we actually need to go. Because I think it's just up here, if I remember right. No. Game thinks I want the knife. Underground waterway. 
And because we beat death, we can purify it. Which helps immensely in our survival. Switch to that. Get back our defense. You know what's probably better than Fire Whip? Fire Sword. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. So, ice armors are super fucking scary, because when they hit you, they freeze you. And when you're frozen, you can't move for... and it's a countdown, like you can't do anything to get out of frozen, unlike petrify. And if you get hit by while you're frozen, you take like, five times as much damage. And notice how they throw two ice spears. So they can give you the fucking one-two combo and just completely obliterate your life. Should they so choose. They're arguably the most dangerous armor in the game. They're not the strongest, like, the holy armors are stronger, but they're the most dangerous. Eh, don't like that. The other contender is dark armors which we'll see later. Which, not only are Dark Armors the strongest in the game, but, uh... Or not Dark Armors, Devil Armors. Not only are Devil Armors, like, the strongest in the game, they also, uh... Their attack... They attack quickly, and are hard to dodge. Oh, fuck! Okay. Look at this dick setup. What? 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 I guess there was a switch there. Oh. I hit it when I jumped. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Frozen Shades are the same way. Pretty much all the ice enemies are very, uh... Very fucking manga ass. Cause like, it just takes like one bad maneuver for them to just fucking kill you. I see. Oh, you piece of shit. Really? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Ow. Case in point. That was, uh, just me demonstrating how fucking strong they can be.
hate this fucking part of the castle. Okay, I need to be, like, down here. I need to get up there. Fuck! I'm probably gonna end up dying. Fucking switch to Holy Whip. Oops, shit. Didn't, didn't want to do that. Piece of shit. Come here, asshole. I know he's there. I don't know why I keep jumping into that like an idiot. Mm-hmm. They are desynced, and I don't like that. Pretty sure I was safe on that platform, but I didn't want to take any risks. so busy stressing out about these fucking ice armors, I don't... I'm not, like, paying close attention to the pattern of the switches. I just kept fucking walking right past it. Damn, I'm good. say 2D aesthetics, like, fucking good pixel art is better than fucking, like, anything. God damn it, I, why did I turn around? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely 2D aesthetic. But we're very likely not going to get another Castlevania game anytime soon.
I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Fuck. Fuck. So, on um, that note, I think that's where I will stop tonight. So, tune in tomorrow for actually probably around this time is when I'll start tomorrow because I have to work and I have to take Ashley to work and she works early tomorrow. So, and that'll be a shorter one. I'll probably only play for like two hours before I have to go to bed because like the only reason I've been able to play so much and so late is because I've been laid off, but I go back to work tomorrow. So, but anyway, uh, until next time, we'll pick this game up right here right after this fucking death. And yeah, see y'all later.